Let's see if I can explain how I did this. The idea was simple enough. I pulled out a bit of cherry, about the size of a pen blank for those that would turn, and doodled a mouse. And that came out right. It did. Then I took it to the scroll saw here. I need to change the blade, you know. But it cut just fine for what I wanted. Here I lay out the pattern again. Just noting key areas to keep in mind when I start cutting away the excess. I wasn't ready to start cutting. I needed to define where the face needed to be. So I didn't say oops later. With that, let's start cutting. She wanted pearl necklace she got and an old boy anymore. I used to work in Chicago in an old department store. I used to work in Chicago, I don't work anymore. A woman came in for some Shakespeare. Shakespeare from the store. Shakespeare she wanted, my long fellow she got, and I don't work anymore. I used to work in Chicago in an old department store. I used to work in Chicago, I don't work anymore. No worries. So, pushing a little too hard, I'd snapped the ear. But the fix for it was simple. A little star bond with a little accelerant. The ear was saved and just right back to it. Here, laying out the tail. I'll follow that up with stop cuts. And then start defining where the tail will rest, rounding it off. All the while, I still haven't decided what the mouse is going to set up on. I think I ended up going with the most obvious thing that you could put a mouse on. When it comes to doing voiceover with these, this is all just an experiment. So, I don't know how well it's going to work with it. Any thoughts or insight? Be greatly appreciated there. 
I don't want to ramble through an entire video. Yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. This is where I started using palm tools to define the feet, help with undercuts around the arms, tail, and I started carving on the eyes. But you're going to quickly see that I was not happy. So I took an old ebony piano key and cut it down small enough to fit into the chuck of my Dremel tool. Grabbed some sandpaper and rounded it off. At some point I rounded it off. There we go. The only thing the Dremel was used for was to make a mini dowel with the ebony and then bore out the eye sockets. Once I had them where I wanted them, more star bond, plug in the eye. and in goes the other. After a lot of thought, I finally decided we were going to set him on a bit of cheese. The only question I had was, did I have enough material to be able to actually look like it was cheese? So I went with a wheel of cheese, and it's a quarter of the wheel that he's setting on. I'm using gouges here to hollow out the the holes. Different sizes for the different sized holes. So this is where the majority of the tools ended up coming into play. All in all, I was happy with the little guy. If you have any questions about the tools I used, the process at all, feel free to make a comment down below. Other than that, 
please feel free to like this, subscribe, and I appreciate your time.